Hi and welcome to this very special Q&D for Fusion dedicated to the event of the day, the solar eclipse, the total solar eclipse to be more specific. And because everyone likes a solar eclipse, I created one especially for you guys in Fusion. This will be a slightly different tutorial than the previous ones because I'm just going to walk through the steps I did to create this solar eclipse instead of demonstrating step by step how to create this so pay attention and you'll see how i did it and that way you can recreate it but i won't be explaining too much about how i did it because i want to finish it today okay what i did was i started with a fast noise tool i matted it out with a mask tool i use these detail settings over here detail contrast brightness the scale and important here the seeth rate. The seeth rate makes sure that the pattern of the fast noise changes. The next step was to create another fast noise with a slightly different size, a slightly different mask as well. I have a different detail setting, different contrast setting, different brightness and also different seeth rate. So the way this pattern moves is different from the other one. I have this one, I have this one, then I put the two together with the merge node set to XOR, which creates this kind of blurry, dreary effect. Then I use the brightness tool to pull down the gain a little, lower the gamma a little, and increase the contrast. Then I went into a co coordinate space tool, which, well, basically folds out the image to a polar projection. After that, I blurred it in the vertical direction to get these spikes. Then I used a brightness with a high gain and a rectangle mask to have spikes that are very uh, bright in the center and softer to the edge. And then I used another cone and space to return to the original round form. So we went from this to this. And then, and this is a special trick, then I use the bitmap mask tool to drive a fast noise. Because when I have a basic fast noise like this, I use a little bit of color. But what I did here was put it into the noise brightness, which means that these values will drive the brightness and the color of the noise. So you can make a nice gradient color over here. And the cool thing is that you can also add additional noise in there as well to liven it up a little more. Also with a very slow seeth rate, so you get a nice turbulent changing color pattern. Then I brightened it up and darkened it again with a slightly smaller ellipse with a nice soft glow behind it so you get a nice overlapping glow and then I use the brightness tool over here with a lower saturation to keep the saturation similar to this but with a glow effect and that's it Render it out and you have a nice solar eclipse. Thank you for watching and hopefully until the next Q&D for Fusion.